So uh, I've imported this mesh in, and just to kind of show this, not shade it, I'll go Alt-S and turn the shader off, and you can see that that is uh, a mesh. You can see all the triangles there, and it, all it is is an STL file. So pretty slick feature here if we go to Home, and then, uh, well, we'll move over and we'll navigate to the, uh, the wireframe tab. We're going to go to Create curve on all edges, and now you'll see you're able to select a mesh, and then there's some settings in here. The defaults are pretty good, um, so you kind of experiment with those depending on how accurate you're trying to make that uh, curve on edge B, uh, but with things set correctly here, it does a pretty nice job of extracting some pretty accurate edge data off of the mesh and then hit OK, and now we've got a nice clean 3D wireframe um, off of a mesh. Uh, so uh, I've never seen that done before, and it's a really nice feature. Uh, but just keep in mind that, you know, that is an approximation because the mesh, if I zoom in here, you'll see those are little flats, and so it's averaging through those little fat flats to come up with, you know, what that data actually is. So there are some tolerance settings there, uh, you know, that you might have to experiment with depending on what it is that you're trying to accomplish. But now it's very easy to grab this and move it and, you know, treat it just like any other geometry. Or maybe even quickly extrude that into a true solid model and get rid of the mesh now that you have the wireframe. So that's a pretty slick feature. That's new uh, feature in the Create Curve All Edges now allows for STL data. Also, uh, another feature that I wanted to mention here is the ability to, um, let, let's undo this and get back to just the mesh. So now we're just, just have the mesh on the screen. And because in the auto cursor setting, um, we have that option now, as I showed you before, uh, to select on vertices of the, of the mesh, we can do things like go into the Home tab, go to Analyze Distance, and then when we move close to the edge, you're going to see a new indicator there, a little triangle sort of symbol that means that is indicating that I'm selecting on the corner of the mesh itself. And now we can measure, uh, so you'll see that white line extending, and we can actually measure on the mesh directly. 